During the Middle Ages, between the 5th and 16th century, mail was a prominent type of armor. It was often worn in conjunction with a padded defensive jacket, called gambesine, padded jack or arming doublet, to provide additional protection, especially against slashing blows by edged weapons and some forms of penetration by many thrusting and piercing weapons. Several patterns have been used, but most common was the four-to-one pattern, where each ring was linked to four others. A German illuminated manuscript about war technology from the first half of the 15th century, located in the Central Library of Zurich, shows an interesting scenario. Textile armor and a mail shirt were hanging on a horizontal bar and hit with crossbow bolts. The Indian made reenactment shirt consists of alternating rows of riveted and punched flat rings with an inner diameter of 10 mm. Textile armor were produced with a sewing technique called quilting and were usually constructed of linen or wool. The composite crossbow used corresponds to those used in the first half of the 15th century and has a draw weight of about 210 kg. From the second half of the 14th century rope and belt pulley systems came into use. For the spanning process, the shooter fixes the crossbow to the ground via the stirrup, kneels down and straightens up until the string reaches the nut fingers. The shooting distance is 12 meters. The bolt weights are between 44 and 58 grams, and the achieved velocities are between 61 and 57 meters per second. The male was shot twice and was pierced both times, while in the course of an earlier test, with a less powerful crossbow, the bolts got stuck in the weave. The textile armor, consisting of four layers of linen and one layer of wool, was also pierced but the bolt got stuck in the area of its feathers. Even though the bolts of the crossbow used penetrated the reproduced male twice, the results obtained are largely similar to the illustrations in the manuscript. Finally, the question of how an original male shirt from the 15th or 16th century performs will be investigated. A test dummy, made of synthetic ballistic gelatin to match human tissue which meets the FBI standards, is used for the experiment. It is equipped with the textile armor, followed by the original male shirt. Once again, the shooting distance is 12 meters. As in the first test, the bolt weights are between 44 and 58 grams and the achieved velocities are between 61 and 57 meters per second. The kinetic energy was about 83 joules for the lightest bolt, 
and about 95 joules for the heaviest bolt. All three bolts pierced the entire armor and penetrated between about 140 and 180 millimeters deep, which probably would have resulted in serious to fatal injuries. The rings of the male shirt, which presumably originated in the Ottoman region, consist of non-hardened rings with wire thicknesses of 1.1 to 1.5 mm and irregular inner diameters of about 8 to 10 mm. In each of the three impacts, two rings were blown at their rivet points and one ring cracked. The marks where the unhardened bolt heads hit the rings, are clearly visible. Generally speaking, male's resistance to weapons is determined by four factors. Linkage type. Used material. Weave density, depending from the ring diameter. And finally the ring thickness. In conclusion, it can be said that by the early 15th century at the latest, a male shirt likely did not offer sufficient protection from the bolts of a powerful crossbow.